We're here in Los Alamos, Ashley Pond, where the first nuclear weapons were actually built here in this spot. And it's a historic day because the hunger strike is 25 days old to, uh, to end nuclear weapons. And one person ended the hunger strike, but you're continuing it. Yes, I'm continuing with Thomas. Why are you going on hunger strike? Because... Because of my own... Are you going to edit this? <laughs> I, I get so tongue-tied when I'm talking in front of a camera. Um, <laughs> I'm continuing it because I... I believe and... I don't believe, I want the barriers that we have around our hearts and our minds to be pierced with love and with compassion. And for me, doing this hunger strike is about doing that also in my own heart. Um, as I was saying earlier to someone else, I think that it's those barriers that allow us to withstand violence and to perform violence on nature and each other. And, and so I see this hunger strike as, as showing up and standing in the middle of in the middle of a vulnerability of a bareness to to stand for love. So that's why. Mm -hmm. Alec was talking about a revolution in consciousness. So by raising people's moral compassion you, you hope to create that revolution. Yes. And I I see that a little bit I think that that consciousness already exists within everybody and everything. I think that capacity not even capacity, that I think the compassion and love and the knowledge that we're all connected is already there. And I just think we have layered it with, um, you know, we've, we've layered it by participating in the systems that we participate in, and the system has layered us. Um, so, yes, I believe that it's kind of like stripping away by, by standing in this and being quiet. It's stripping away. For that consciousness to emerge. Do you have any demands for Los Alamos National Laboratory? Um, or for the U.S. government, U.S. military? I wouldn't say demands personally. I, I mean, there are a lot of things that I believe can happen that would change the way things, you know, the, the, the way foreign policy and um, the food system and all these other things can happen, but I don't think any of those things can really change unless we are standing with an open mind and an open heart. Like truly, that's the only thing. That's the only. That's the only way to create space for change to come in, for real change to come in, in my eye. So maybe not a demand, but I hope that all of us can stand in that place and be willing to to open ourselves. Anything else you want to say? Thank you. Thank you. For what you're doing. Thank you for your moral witness to the world.